welcome to the Happiness Contribution Show with me, your happy host, Rosaria Cirillo. On the show, we talk about the various roles happiness plays in our individual lives and in business, and about the benefits that being happy brings. And we share knowledge and practices about what contributes to our happiness. Join me and my guests on this happiness journey together and get involved by visiting our website at happinesscontribution.com. Welcome to the Happiness Contribution Show. I'm your host, Rosaria Cirillo, a little Italian sunshine of energy, enthusiasm, and passion living in the Netherlands. I'm a university lecturer, certified customer experience and happiness trainer, yoga and laughter yoga teacher, speaker and author with a mission to bring more happiness in the world, one interaction at a time, the business and the education worlds being my chosen playgrounds. In the previous episode, um, I shared with you some background and theory about a well-being practice that I first learned uh, back in 2010 while I was pregnant and then much more during the laughter yoga teacher training in 2021 and finally getting deep into it during my yoga teacher training in Nepal. Um, about the yoga teacher training in Nepal, I shared more in episode 21 and, and about yoga nidra in the previous episode 24. In this episode, uh, you will find just a guided meditation so that um, you can use this track in your own timing. If you didn't listen to episode 24 yet, you may need you may want to do so before or after this practice also to learn some key insight about what is yoga nidra and why it's so beneficial. Here, before we are going to practice it, I just want to remind you and share with you a brief reminder of the benefits because that's also part of making something even more beneficial for us. So first, yoga nidra is suitable for all individuals, all ages, um, whether beginners or advanced practitioners of yoga. Second, it is a powerful relaxation technique that helps to recharge quickly so that we can perform to the maximum. Just 30 minutes of yoga nidra will give you the relaxation equivalent to two hours of ordinary sleep. And finally, all you have to do is to lie down on the floor or sit in a comfortable chair, if reclinable, and just Listen to my instructions and follow them. You may luckily fall asleep, but you are still going to get all the benefits as the unconscious mind is still absorbing the practice. Just try not to fall asleep by keeping focus on my guiding voice. The practice will have the following stages. We are going to get ready with our body, breath, mind of emotions. Second, we are going to make a resolution setting an intention or sankalpa. i tell more about in the other episode. We are going to then do a body scan. Fourth, we are going to focus on a breath awareness. Five, we are going to go through a visualization. And then we are going to go through different senses perception before we repeat the resolution or intention and we return back to normal. I expect it to be about 20, 25 minutes of practice. Ready to practice now? Okay, let's go. Sit in a comfortable chair or better lay down on your back and get comfortable. Put your hands by the side of your body with the palms facing upward like at receiving something and keep a little distance between your feet. It is important to remain still throughout the session. As far as possible, don't move your body. Occasional movement is fine, but try to reduce it as much as possible. Give me your complete attention and listen to every word I speak. First, let's take a moment to land 
ear and check in how we are feeling in our body, energy, mind and emotions. We call this a beam check-in. Take a few long abdominal breaths and relax your entire body. Feel the belly rise as you inhale and fall as you exhale. With each exhalation, relax all the muscles of the body and try coinciding exhalation with deeper relaxation. Take slower, longer and deeper breaths as we check in on the four elements. Take a deep breath in and observe your body. Are there any tensions? Observe them and release as you breathe out. With the next deep breath in, observe your energy. Is it high or low? Just observe and release as you breathe out. With the next deep breath in, observe your mind. Is it full of thoughts, worries, past or future? Observe and release as you breathe out. Be here and now. Finally, with the next deep breath in, observe your emotions. Are you feeling uplifting, pleasant emotions or draining, depleting emotions? Remember, there are no positive or negative emotions. These are judgmental labels based on our conditions. There are just emotions that we feel when our needs are met and ones we feel when our needs are not met. All emotions are temporary. Give yourself permission to be human, to feel them. As we acknowledge and accept our emotions, they just flow through us. Breathe in. And when you breathe out, release the emotions. Now we will be making a resolutions or sankalpa. We are going to choose a commitment. This can be an intentions that you want to set for the upcoming hour. For example, just for the duration of this practice, I will not move my body. Or for the upcoming day or for a retreat, or for a week. Just while I'm here, I'll be grateful for everything that happens to me. Or it can be a bigger wish to create anything for yourself, or something, a change that you want to bring in your habits, or improve your lifestyle. You repeat your chosen Sankalpa for three times in your mind, including the word happily. You can also visualize your resolutions and see a picture on your mental screen with big, shining capital letters like Marquet light-up letters that you see at parties. For three times. Now, we start the body scan. I'll guide you to relax different parts of your body. Relax your forehead. Relax your eyebrows. Relax your muscles around your eyeballs. Relax your right cheek 
your left cheek, the bridge of the nose, the upper lip, the lower lip, the jaw muscles. Relax your tongue, the back of the head, the back of the neck. Relax your shoulders, the upper arm, your elbows, the forearms, your hands, the front of the chest, your abdominal muscles, your pelvic muscles, your upper back, your lower back, your buttocks. Relax both the tights, your knee joints, your calf muscles, your feet. Imagine a wave of relaxation passing through different parts of your body. Feel it as it passes from the top of your head all the way to the tips of your toes. Run these two eyes with another wave of relaxation. And now be silent for a while so you can just experience the relaxation and deepen it. Now we are going to relax the right side of the body. Please bring your attention to the right hand and relax. Relax your thumb, your index finger, your middle finger, your ring finger, the little finger. Relax your palm and your wrist joint, your forearm, your upper arm, your right shoulder, the right side of your chest, the right side of your abdomen, the right tight muscles, right knee joint, right calf muscles, your right ankle, the upper part of your right foot, the lower part of your right foot. Bring your attention to your big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe and little toe. Your entire right side is relaxed. Take a moment to feel the difference between your right side totally relaxed and your left side. Now we are going to relax the left side of the body. Please bring your attention to the left hand and relax. Relax your thumb, your index finger, your middle finger, your ring finger, your little finger. Relax your palm and your wrist joint, your forearm, your upper arm your left shoulder, the left side of your chest, the left side of your abdomen, the left tight muscles, left knee joint, left calf muscles, left ankle, 
upper part of your left foot, lower part of your left foot. Bring your attention to your big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and little toe. Your entire left side is totally relaxed. Take a moment to feel how both your right and your left side are totally relaxed. Now, bring your attention to your breathing. Start observing your normal breathing. Inhale slowly and deeply through your nose. Feel the cool air touching the inside of your nose when you are inhaling and the warm air on your upper lip when you're exhaling. Bring complete attention to your breathing. Follow your breath from beginning to end. Now feel the breathing in your chest and become aware of your lungs. When you are inhaling, feel your chest expanding. And when you are exhaling, feel your chest return to normal. Now feel the movement of your abdomen with your breathing. With a deliberate conscious mind, take a long, slow, deep breath into your belly. Your belly moves up when you inhale and moves down when you exhale. Make your breathing slower, longer and deeper. Try coinciding exhalation with relaxation of all the muscles of the body. With each exhalation, feel that you are 10% more relaxed than in the previous breath. Now imagine that you are breathing into the entire body. Take a slow, longer and deep breath into the whole body. Keep breathing slowly and gradually and coincide relaxation with exhalation. I will now guide you through the visualization part. With the power of your imagination, try to visualize on your mental screen as if you're watching a movie in a theater. Try to see movements, colors and sounds in the pictures as far as possible. If you don't see anything, just Relax and wait patiently. Don't force it. Allow yourself to see whatever your mind produces without any judgment or analysis as I guide you through a visualization. Just observe. Imagine that you're taking a walk at sunrise among green fields. There are many corns and rice plants. You walk through the mall, gazing at the beauty of the green under the light blue sky. And you feel your heart open and receptive to the surroundings. The light of the sunrise is shining 
softly but uplifting as you keep walking among these fields you come across a beautiful field of blossoming sunflowers you admire the strength of their stem and the beauty of their flowers as you walk through them you find a spot without a sunflower you stand on that spot and imagine roots coming from your feet and growing deep and wide into the soil you feel the nurturing from the soil powering up your roots you sprout from the ground first with small leaves and then steadily growing you feel your stem elongating strong and long reaching up towards the sky then you feel the flower bud emerging through and slowly starting to flower you are now a beautiful blossoming sunflower receiving nurturing from the sun and sharing your seeds as nurturing for the bees and the birds coming along you feel a little wind which is like a cradle for you and you feel the nurturing coming from the soil till the petals on your flower you breathe in and the nurturing comes all the way up through your stem and when you breathe out the nurturing returns to the soil and is shared with the bees through your pollens in a continuous and harmonious cycle with mother earth a cycle of continuous nurturing a connection with nature you breathe in and you get all the energy from the soil and the sun you breathe out and you radiate all your energy from the flower you breathe in and you get all the energy from the soil and from the sun and you breathe out and radiate all your energy from your flower now you step out from your sunflower and you observe it from the outside you can see all its beauty in the field with other sunflowers and how it is being an harmonious part of nature you touch it to feel its leaves you breathe in from its flower and you hug it with gratitude fusing with it and thanking it for having allowed you to connect so deeply with your natural part As you hug the sunflower, you feel the petals on your face and then you slowly move away from the sunflower and look at it again. You admire its beauty and thank it again for this experience. You now start walking again through the fields, feeling more leaves touching your skin and the morning dew wetting your skin as you keep walking you start seeing some buildings and then you see your home you walk in you come through the hall maybe go up the stairs and you come back into the room where you currently are in you are laying on the mat or sitting on your chair and you feel your body heavy on the mat or in the chair. 
now we will move through a series of opposite sensations to allow you to experience the full range of sensations as you return to your body. Imagine feeling very cold and feel your body is shivering with intense cold weather. Now imagine feeling extremely hot and that you're sweating under intense heat. Feel your body becoming hotter and hotter. And then relax, return to normal. Now imagine that your body has become larger and bigger. Begin to feel your presence becoming larger and bigger as your body becomes like a giant. Once you feel your body has reached its peak, start restraining your energy, begin to contract. Imagine your body becoming smaller and feel yourself shrink to a point where it can fit into the smallest container you can imagine. Then relax and return to normal. Imagine that you're laying on the floor. Feel the touch of your body with the ground. Feel your body becoming heavier. And imagine all the stresses and tensions melting out from your body into the ground, absorbing what you no longer require. So you can begin to feel your body becoming lighter and completely relaxed. Feel your body becoming weightless. And then return back to normal and take a few long, deep abdominal breaths. I invite you now to think again of your resolution, your sankalpa. It's time to irrigate nurture your seed so repeat three times the resolutions that you said in the beginning or imagine seeing again the pictures of what you wish to create for yourself on your mental screen including the word happily maybe having some big capital letters with lights in them and feel as if it is already happening and you are living your dreams. Once you have repeated it three times, start becoming aware of your breathing. We are now slowly going to come back to normal. Inhale into the whole body and relax. Imagine the breath you're taking is going not only to your lungs, but into each and every cell of your body. Breathe in and breathe out. I will now count down from 10 to 1 and at each count you will slowly wake up and be more awake than on the previous number 10 9 8 7 6 you are waking up Five, four, three, two, one. You are fully back into your body and into your awareness. Start moving your fingers and toes. Move your head towards left and right. Slowly take a long, deep breath and stretch. 
you can stretch your arms, you can stretch your legs, do any stretch that your body feels it wants to do right now. Then rub your palms gently by putting the two hands together and then you rub. That creates energy. And once your palms are warmed up, place them over your eyes and blink your eyes within the palms three times, opening and closing, before removing the palms and having your eyes completely open. Turn to one side, whether left or right is up to you, and slowly, gently sit up and take a comfortable position. Depending on whether your next action is to go further with your day or going to sleep, you can further stretch or energize yourself or you can drift off, drift off into a restful sleep. Um, I hope you enjoyed the practice. That was it. And I would really love to hear your feedback. So you can just write at podcast at wellnow.eu. That was all for today's episode. And I am Rosaria, and I'm committed to bringing more happiness into the world, one customer, one employee, and one student at a time, by sharing the science of happiness and by empowering companies to achieve growth, productivity, and profits by cultivating happiness, also with practices like yoga nidra, which can help us perform better. If I can help, if I can be of any help or support to you or your company with my keynotes, sessions or training programs, I would love to hear from you, so get in touch. In the meantime, keep following our podcast, taking care of your well-being and connecting and radiating from the heart. Thank you and until the next episode. This was the Happiness Contribution Show, available on YouTube as a webcast and on your favorite channels as podcast. If you like the show, we would appreciate if you share it with one person that may benefit from it too. Subscribe to our channel and tune in for the next episode. You can find all the episodes and discover more happiness contribution tips on our website, happinesscontribution.com. That's all for today. Stay happy and healthy and nurture happiness contribution.